Hey, Bob Carr here with the Bob Carr Show. Returning to the studio today, Mr. Scott, how are you, sir? I'm good today. How are you, Bob? Good. Doing good. So what you up to? So no, not much. I, you know, I talked to you last week, about two weeks ago. Got some work done at my mom's house, but that we'll bring that up at a different date. We'll drag mom down here we'll for bring a mom down here. We'll talk about her drainage system. That we'll she wanted. About, she, well, she she's after me for a year to get that done, and we knocked it out. Not wanted, needed. That's a different story. There you so, go. There, so, there you go. So what we're going to talk about today is uh, a little bit of charity, a little bit of charity work. Bob Bob loves loves his charities and helps people out with different things. Um, one thing I know. He sponsored our FOP, uh, signed for our FOP um, golf tournament last month, which that money went to a, a separate cause. But today we're going to talk to uh, uh, the county county fire department and the county police department have a charity hockey game uh, once a year. So that both organizations put their guys together, fill, uh, fill the benches up, and we have a charity hockey game to support somebody or something. This year's just happened to be for American Liver Foundation is what we, we did this year because one of the guys on the team, his mother passed away because of a liver issue. So today, this year's went to American uh, Liver Foundation. Uh, this game was played at the end of August. So it was the county fire department and the county police department playing down at the Piney Orchard down here with the help from the uh, from the, from the from the ice arena itself and the Black Bears. So the guys, the team from the Black Bears helped out. They they ran the doors, collected the, everything they did there. What everybody would vote, help them with during their games, they turned around and donated their time and helped us out during that game. I didn't know that the fire department and the police department had a hockey team. So it, it's only something that's come about. For us to each have individual teams, probably about two, three years ago old give or take mm. and it's not a full-time team it's not we go we only play charity events or we play a charity team something like that just for fun we don't it's not the house league here or house league there gotcha so we just do it as a just charity so i mean we have a couple couple more charity games coming up we've played there's a, a wounded warriors team that we played a couple about a couple weeks ago and it's gotcha. all it's all about fun straight up fun it's not a competition it's it's for us to go out and have time and a good camaraderie between the fire. For us, this this game was between the fire department and the police department, and it was good. But that was so a lot of fun, too. We raised $11,000 for the foundation, for wow. the Liver Foundation this year. That's good deal. Um, and last year, I want to say we raised around around the same amount for one of our officers. His, one of his kids had, um, had a cancer issue who had passed away, so we donated all that money to that foundation so it's just it's all about same, same like everybody yeah. else it's about a charity thing just being nice and trying to do the right thing right plus it brings a lot of awareness besides the money it does it, yeah we had a packed house i think they sold almost all the tickets uh for, so the whole all the stands were standing room only uh we had our chief there the fire chief there uh so it was a, it was a good time command staff was there so it was a good time for everybody just to get along for a good fun hockey game in, in, in the county, of course. I got so you. It makes it easy. I got you. When's your next event coming up? Uh, we'll prob this, this event will happen again next year around all, in mid-August, give or take. I can't remember exactly. It, once it gets about three months out, we'll have an exact date. It's okay. all, it basically works around kind of the Black Bear schedule. When can we get a Saturday night? When can we get the sure. that, that ice time? They fit it in. And they, the Black Bears were wonderful. They worked with us um, to set the whole thing up. I got gotcha. you. Uh, so that's the kind of thing we we played. We just play charity games uh, here or there. Nothing special um, to raise money like this. This is a we do this one just for someone in house, either the fire department side or the police department side. Whoever has a can the public come out? And yeah, they, this? yeah. It's open to the public. All these okay. games are always open to the public. Uh, we sell. Um, we have, at, at, at certain times we have hats, shirts, uh, jerseys. If you want one, it's all. You just have to go to the Facebook page for AA County uh, PD Hockey, and it'll pull up when those things pop up for sale. They do it two, three times a year for people to get stuff. And there you knew that even was going on. And I'm living in the county for years and years. That's good. It, it, it's fun. It's a good time. It's fun. It's a fun thing to do. Um, if you like a little, say, in-county rivalry. Sure, so, sure. You guys okay. know each other from oh, showing we all, up on calls all yeah, the time. We show up on calls. We play. A lot of us, our kids have played together. Uh, so this year, two of my kids played on the team. I know one of the fire department guys had one of his kids. On, on the hockey team. On the hockey team. On the youth team. league. Uh, yeah. So they all played together in the youth league. They then turn around. They played in the charity and game. And the parents are together. With, with the parents together playing again. But so that was a good time, It huh? was fun. It was, it was all fun. Fun. It, it's it's fun for everybody, and that's the whole thing. Win-win. It's a win-win. The fire department make <laughs> this year they went a little over and made fun of us with the uh, Dunkin' Donuts boxes, and it was kind of fun. So I gotcha. yeah, it was good. It was a good time. Good so, 
Scotty, we appreciate you coming in. Yeah. Spending a little bit of time with us. No, thank you for inviting me. I'll get you, I'll get mom down here and it'll be, a, we'll have fun with mom. That's for sure. Absolutely. You know, she'll like it. She won't know what's going on, but we'll, we'll, we'll work that all. Yeah, but she can talk from a homeowner's point and a woman's view of what goes on with the house. And, yeah. You know. Yeah, it'd be good to hear because it's somebody that really knows, doesn't know the drainage side to things and someone who just needs stuff done and this is the place to get it done. Gotcha. Appreciate you, Scotty. Yeah, not a problem. Thank you. Thanks for having me. This wraps up another episode of The Bob Carr Show, and we'll see you next week on another episode.